You know, in life, there is great people. Somebody like Ibrahim. Ibrahim was great. The story of Ibrahim, every time when you read Ibrahim, at this man see God. Ibrahim was not like everybody. That will be your story from today. Your life will be different. Your testimony will be different. Your story will be different than other people. It will be different. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. God Shabbat, hallelujah. God said to Abraham, leave your family, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, go to the place I will show you, I will make your name great. Hallelujah. You become the source of blessing. Anyone that you will bless you, will be blessed. Anyone that you curse you, will be cursed. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Genesis chapter 12, verse 4. And the Lord went with Abraham. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. It's a story about God bless Abraham in the level that the space that they were was too small. The two great people, they could not remain in one place. You know that some people, eh? if God wants to take them from you, you need to pray. There are some people you need to pray for them. For God to keep them for you. Because there are some people when they leave you, there are certain things you will never have it. There are some people in life, when you lose them in your life, there are certain type of people, they won't come to you. I'm connected to certain people and that their connection, it becomes easy for me to have it. So Abraham and Lot, they separate. And the Bible shows us about something. Lot chose what was good to him. But Abraham, in another hand, Abraham hear God. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. God is said to Abraham, as far as your eyes can see, I give unto you. If you want to become great in life, there are some secrets. Number one, secrets. Look to Jesus. Amen? Sorry. Look for Jesus. Look for Jesus. And look to Jesus. Look for Jesus. Whatever things that you want to do in life, make sure God is involved. Make Show God is involved. Look for him. Look for his glory in everything that you are doing. Look for his glory, for his presence. I remember Peter. Peter, he saw Jesus was walking on the water. He said, Master, if it's you, allow me to come. In case, if it's not you, if it's not you, master, I don't want to walk on the water anymore. The appetite of walking on the water, the desire of walking on the water, I don't want it. Hallelujah. Look for Jesus. When you build your house, build your house on the principle to glorify Jesus. When you start to build your marriage, build it when God you will see that marriage, he see himself. That certain house you can't play. You come during the day, the house is full of principle. You come during the night as a witch, you can't penetrate. I come to declare over your life, that should be your house. Your house will be a house that will be unshakable. Joshua, he says something. Me and my house will serve the Lord. Me and my house will serve the Lord. No joking. Me and my house will serve the Lord. When you see us, you see Jesus. Hallelujah. When you see us, you see Jesus. When you build your house on the principle of God, when your children, they will grow up, they will know the right way to go. They won't be with you at all times. 
by the principle of the word of God. When temptation will come, wrong friend, don't, don't, don't be deceived. Your children, they will face wrong friends. Wrong friend, they will come. And if you don't train them, that the one that will be the wrong friend. So, when you build them in the word of God, when they are at a level in front of temptation, they will be able to stand on the ground and say, look, this is not what God wants. Look for Jesus in your house. Jesus be the center of my house. Be the foundation of my marriage. The foundation of the house. You are a father in the house. You are a father in the house. You are not only a father, you are a spiritual leader in the house. You are a father, you are a spiritual leader. You are not there just to provide food and then leaving your wife praying. You are a father. If they want to come to destroy the house, they will attack first the strong person. There are some people that are like that, sending their wife to church, but themselves they don't go to church. Your prayer, you protect us. It's a lie. Everyone for himself. Your wife can come to pray, but you can't go to heaven because your wife is coming to pray. Oh God, you remember me because my wife is coming to church. It's a lie. Two people, they'll be in one bed. Before you say, baby, I love you, you see only a cushion. She's already gone. Hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name. Me and my wife, we are going. <laughs> Thank God in heaven there's no marriage. Praise God. In heaven there's no marriage. Why your amen is weak? You don't need marriage. Two people, they'll be in one bed, but thank God, me and my wife, we are going. No, by declaration, by action. We are trying as much as we can for all of us to go. When the children, they want to run, hey, 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 come, 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 come. Time to pray before you go to sleep. Because children, sometimes they can check you. Amen? They see like uh, they're already gone. Say, hey, hey, come. Time for prayer. Amen? Build your life, your house, your children, on the foundation of Jesus Christ. If you build your house that way, there is no power in this world that you put you down. You think about the devil is powerful. The devil is not more powerful than God. But let me say this. The devil has power. Don't be deceived. The devil has power. There are some people, you don't go to church. The prayer that you pray is the last Christmas. Know this one, the, the one for lockdown, they, they discourage you too much, you didn't come. We are talking about the one, even like that one, you came because you just feel like you want to come to church. That is that prayer that you pray. And then now you stand in front of the devil and say, devil, you don't have no power in this house. As you are saying, the devil is coming. The more you are saying, the more it's coming. And the, you, know, you know that some people are too strong. They carry you like this. They say, which place you want me to throw you? <laughs> Choose yourself. <laughs> can I throw you on, on this floor? Or can I throw you on the street? Choose. The devil is powerful. But he's no more powerful than God. What he make us strong? Because we are connected with the one that is more powerful than the devil. God didn't take the power from the devil. But the one that is in us is greater than the one that is in the world. I come to declare over your life as you stand on the word of God. As Jesus become your stability. Ah, friends, there is nothing in this world. There's no power of the enemy that you put you down. I prophesy over your life this week, the kingdom of darkness, they will run from you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will never come near your life. Yeah. Bible said the devil is like a lion. So that means he can terrorize people. Yeah. It's true? Yeah. If you wake up by grace, 
and uh, your hallelujah, the person that you share the flats for those that maybe you stay in one flat with your friend and uh, by, by grace he or she went with the key and uh, you wake up and uh, you, you see a lion on the corner. He's just looking you like this. What you do? You say, I am a Daniel. <laughs> They're going to eat you alive. <laughs> you want to say, Holy Ghost fire. The lion, the lion is like looking. <laughs> and then you also, you say to the lion, ah. <laughs> you are going. <laughs> you know when the lion is there, ah, he's waiting to kill you. Because he's looking which part you need to start. With your head or with your leg. <laughs> so that means the lion, so that means the devil can terrorize you. It can make you scared. It can make people scared. It can, it can destroy people. Bible says, Jesus said this, hallelujah, the thief is coming to do what? To steal, to do what? To kill, to destroy, and to steal. He was referring to the devil. So that means the devil can destroy. The devil can take. You know why crime never finish? It's not about people. Is the devil that enter in people. But uh, your strength is this. If you are in God, Bible shows us about no weapon form against you shall prosper. And uh, every tongue that you arise against you, you will condemn. A thousand will come to your left, ten thousand to your right, they will never come near you. I can't tell you a lot of amen. You are saving a mighty God. Hallelujah. I say you are saving a mighty God. Look for Jesus. Those that are going to the house of witch doctor, they will never be able to put you down. You are using your charm. I'm using Jesus. Hallelujah. Number two, look to Jesus. Your eyes need to be to Jesus. You are looking too much to people for help. For connection. Some they disgrace you. Look not to Jesus. Bible said the author and the finisher of your faith. You know that some people eh, they can come show you what they have. Because they want you to praise them. In my heart I will praise only God. I will appreciate God for what you have. But I will never praise you. I will praise only God. Because my eyes is on God. I appreciate you for what you have. But I know one thing. If you share it with me, it's because God touched you. Amen. If you are up to that level that you are, it's because God helped you. Amen. So my eyes need to be on the life giver. Amen. We call him the ancient of days. Yeah. The morning star. Yeah. The one that can change your story. Yeah. Hallelujah. The rock of ages. I can't tell you a lot of men. You can lean on him. Amen. Hallelujah. You can lean on him. Those that are fighting you, they are wasting their time. Because my eyes is not on people. My eyes is on God. If God use you today, I thank God for you. I appreciate you. But the glory go back to God. Because God can use another person. We are saving an eternal God. A eternal God is the God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Matthew chapter, hallelujah, we see in Matthew chapter 14, 22 to 33. The story of Peter. Peter walked on the water. Not because Peter was special. But because the eyes of, Jesus, of Peter was on Jesus. First, he was looking for the master. Master, if it's you, he was looking for the master. Number two, his eyes was on Jesus. Peter could not walk on the water. If his eyes on, was on other things. You know, many times we are in so much distraction and that we forget we are born for a purpose. All of us, we want to spend on earth the same 
Some God give them grace like mama. Amen. Day after day, she's look younger and beautiful. Mama never changed. I, I, I know her before my marriage. Before I meet Pastor Robert, I meet Mama. She's look younger and younger. Don't be jealous of her. Some they are younger than her, but they pass away. But the one thing that I know about her, since I know her, Jesus. I may not have much, but I have Jesus. Jesus must be your secret. Jesus must be your secret. If you have Jesus, you have everything. Look, stop to look to your problem. Now look to Jesus. Because when you look to Jesus, he will turn your problem to a program. I say again, he will turn your problem to a program. So that means you start to solve your problem one after another. Don't mock about me now. You don't know what God is doing. You know about my failure. You know about my problem. You know what I'm not able to do. But I am saving the one that is fixing my life. I am under construction. People, they left you because they discover like you are not able to do certain things. But they don't know like God turned that problem to a problem. You are under construction. That's why every day is not the same. That someday you wake up with too much energy. That someday you wake up is like all the devil is fighting you. It's true. That someday that you wake up, you are not yourself. That someday when I wake up, I wake up, it's like I need to push my body. Come to church. Come for counseling. Glory be to God. But that someday I wake up already with energy. Glory be to God. Every day is not the same. But the one thing that I know, that someday I can be in pain. God is touching some area in my life that is fixing it. When it's done with me, you will recognize me. When it's finished, that project that is going through with you, many they won't recognize you. I come to declare over your life, in the name that is above every other name, as you put your trust in God, there is no power of the enemy that will cause you to give up in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never give up in your life. Friends, don't give room to the enemy. You are under construction. Allow those that are mocking about you to continue to mock about you. Hallelujah. Amen. Poor people, they are making noise. You know when I talk about poor, I'm not talking about how much money is in your account or in your pocket. Poverty is a it's in the mind. Poor people, they, they are spending, they are using their energy, talking. Talking about people. You know rich people what they are doing? People that they have a vision. They are busy working for their future. I may make mistake, but I am keep on going. It's not the end of the world. I'm not the first person to make mistake. If by grace I give you the scripture, that maybe I'm supposed to say John, but I say Mark. It's not the end of the world. It's a mistake tomorrow. I can fix it. But I need to push forward. Then to think about, oh my God. I could say John, but I say Mark. It's a mistake. I learn from there and I move forward. Don't allow your mistake to be in front of you. See your mistake, present it unto God, let God fix it. I can't tell you like that, amen. Number two, praise the Lord. The secrets of Peter and the secret of Abraham. If you want to become great, hallelujah. Follow the commandment of Jesus and obey it. Follow the commandment of God and obey it. The order, when they give you an order, you know, you are a soldier of Christ. That sometimes God asks you, but that sometimes he commands you. Don't be like those Christians sp speaking scripture, but without understanding. Praying scripture. Singing scripture, but without understanding. 
I'll be the head and not the tail. What it was the last time you obey God? I'll be the head and not the tail. I'll be the head. You can sing it the way you want. If you are not obey God, you remain the tail by declaring you are the head. Because there is principle that follow to everything. I can't tell you a lot of amen. I'll be blessed in the country. I'll be blessed in the city. There is a principle. Obey God. Be a good person. Treat people with respect. Honor people. Be a person of people. Don't bring your problem to the face of people. Treat people with respect. Honor them the way that you want them to honor you. There are some people, you want people to treat you well. But you don't know how to treat people. If you want to have access to the heart of people, treat them good. When you are at a place and you feel like they honor you, you want to honor also that person. It's true. They never invite you to some place. You are not feel comfortable to go there. But at some place when they invite you, your heart, you can't wait for that day. Because you know those people, they have a place in your heart. I pray for somebody that hears the sound of my voice. As you obey God, good things will happen. Remember one thing. Peter didn't have a supernatural power to walk on the water. He didn't have it. It came to him when he obeyed Jesus. It came to him when he obeyed Jesus. By himself when he was in the boat. He didn't have that. But when he obeyed, when the master said, Come! And he started to obey by acting. Supernatural happened. The blessing of God. Can I say to somebody very well? The blessing of God is not waiting for you when you are declared. Yes, when you are declared, those things is coming closer to you. But when you act, it becomes yours. When you act, it becomes yours. Today I come to declare over your life as you are the son of a boss. I declare everything that you are looking for in this world. He will come to you with speed as you obey God. Bible says, if you obey the Lord your God, look all this blessing that you follow you. You'll be the head and not the tail. You'll be blessing the city and you'll be blessing the country. Can you put your hand up? I want to declare. I release the angels of God in their summits. Hallelujah. To release every finesse breakthrough, every opportunity that you are looking for, every connection that you are looking for. I declare, receive it by the grace of God. I release the angels of miracles to appear in your life, in your house. I declare this lockdown and this level that you are going through, it will never affect your finance. When others they are closing their door for the business, I see your one is open. I can't tell you a lot of amen. I see opportunities follow you. I come to declare as an oracle of God, not to encourage somebody, but I come to release the power of supernatural harvest to your destiny. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will never suffer in your life. You will never beg in your life. You will never be inferior in your life. You will never struggle in your life. You will never die before your time. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. People, they will like you. They will like you. You know when God starts to bless you? People, they will like you. People, they will like you. You know if somebody, if people, they start to like you, life becomes easy. You know that some people in this country, eh? somebody can just give him 100,000 They say, at any time you're ready. No in rush. At any time you're ready, take it. At any time you're ready, come. Don't worry, don't worry. If you take 10 years, don't worry. There are some people that are blessed in that level. There are some people that are blessed. Somebody can give him a car. I pray for you. May that level come to you. I say, may that level come to you. And that it will happen when you obey God. God is so simple. God is so simple. And let me humble you. God you will never ask you something that is above you. God, he can't ask you something that you know you can't give to him. Amen? Hear me somebody? Amen? Glory be to God. 
For example, say, oh, I don't have a friend today. What I need to do? You are staying with your friend in the room. Now you enter in his pocket, you take under rent for offering. You are a thief. <laughs> that offering, the church collected, but God didn't collect it. Amen? It's like other people in other church, no here. When we say it's the time of tithe, they take an empty envelope, they close it, they come to give us a tithe. Are you giving an empty uh, envelope? When you give an empty envelope, what you receive? An empty harvest. And the God will punish you anyway. He won't just give you an empty, he will, he will even punish you by coming to lie on the altar. Today, I pray for somebody that hear the sound of a voice. From today, there will be favor. There will be abundance. In the name of Jesus. Obey Jesus. You will be only the head. Can we stand? I want to bless you as we are to the end. I prophesy you will be the head. And I know they tell. I prophesy you will go higher in life this week. People that they forget you, they will remember you. This week, people, they will beg you to do business with you. That amen is not born again. I declare by the grace of God, people, they will like you. People, they will honor you. People, they will open door for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the God that I serve, you appear in your life. You will never suffer in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you are in debt, may God make you debt free. As you are looking for connection, may God become your connection. In Jesus' mighty name.